Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the task section. So the task section is going to help you save a lot of time. It's very convenient when you have multi-channel sequences and you want to review your sequence and make sure that everything is good. If you want to go in and respond to emails, if you want to complete manual tasks, or if you would like to make a phone call, you can do it all from the task section. So in this video, I'm going to explain what the task section is, the contents of a task, connecting a task to air call, how to mark a task as complete, and using the assign, snooze, and unsubscribe options. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but first let me explain what it is. So you're going to go from the home screen, you're going to go into the task section. You can either do this by going to the left-hand corner here and pressing tasks or by simply selecting T, which is what I just did. Now you have here the tasks section displayed and you can see all of your tasks right here in the left corner. So here you have your tasks listed from the most recent to the oldest and a task will appear after you have received a new email when you need to respond to someone when you need to make a call or if you have to perform a manual task you can prioritize your tasks by using the snooze option here so what you will do with that is you can choose a task let's say this task i would like to be done instead of right now i'd like to focus on it tomorrow morning. So I go here to snooze and I select tomorrow morning and it will disappear from my task section and reappear tomorrow morning when I want to focus on it. So this will help me to prioritize to say, okay, let's say there's only a few tasks I'd like to work on right now. I can go in and snooze the other tasks to appear when I would like to work on them. This helps me to prioritize a little bit. From there, you can see the lead column, and here you have all the information about the lead, including the current steps that they are in and the anticipated ones. Next, you have your activity section, and this will show all of the engagement about your lead. So this section is really great because you can see basically what your lead has engaged with. So you can see when they've opened an email, clicked on a link, when they've replied and here you can see how many times they have opened something so if you look at this one for instance you can see that they have opened step 5 email twice also what is great about the task section is you can see here that they replied and if you want to respond to them you can do that right from the task section and you can see first of all here which email they replied to and then if you would like to respond to them, all you have to do is go up here to the envelope icon, click that, and you'll be able to respond to them. So next we have the message section here, and this allows you to see all of the previous messages from this person and all of the ones that you've sent. So as soon as you respond to them, you'll see your new message appear right here in the section. Lastly, we have the note section, and this will allow you to take any notes about your leads during your process. So let's say you're on a phone call with them and they tell you that they're not usually available in the mornings. It's great if I can just go ahead and take a note to say they're not available in the morning time, contact them only in the afternoon. And what's great about this is that if you have Lemlist connected to your CRM, you will automatically be able to see this note in your CRM, which saves you lots of time, makes your life so much easier. Speaking of calls, we also have the air call integration. So if you would like to call your lead using air call, all you have to do is go up here and press the phone button, and this will allow you to call straight from the task section. If you don't have air call set up, you can set it up by going here to settings. It will only take you about 30 seconds. Now, if you don't want to connect with air call, that's fine. You can also just use your own phone. So let's say you've completed your task. Either you have called your lead, sent them a message, or you've performed a manual task, then you want to mark it as complete. You have a few options. So if you would like your lead to continue receiving your sequence, then you can use this done option right here. 
So this is especially great if you, let's say you called your lead, they didn't answer, so you still want them to receive your communications, then you'll go ahead and press done. The same thing if let's say your step was just to comment on their LinkedIn post, but you still have emails that you'd like to send them after that, again, you'll mark it as done so that they keep receiving your communication. Then the other options that you have, let's say that you already know if your lead is interested or not, then you can go ahead and use the emojis here to mark it as a success or not as a, not a success. So it, once you either mark it as a success or not a success, it will automatically unsubscribe them or not unsubscribe, but it will automatically stop your campaign essentially. So they will not receive any more communication from you. Now, the last option that we will go over here is the assign option. And this will allow you to unassign a task from yourself or assign it to one of your team members. This option is great because let's say that you see a task and it doesn't need to be done. You can unassign it and it will automatically disappear from your task section over here. Now, let's say if you go on vacation and you would like to make sure that your colleagues are taking care of a certain task while you're gone, you can go ahead and assign this task to someone else. The great thing about this function is that it will automatically, like I said, disappear from your task section. And when you assign it to someone else, it appears in their task section. So to see that you can go over here and your tasks and you can actually choose your teammates tasks. So that way you can see that it in fact is in their tasks. The last thing we're going to go over is the unsubscribe button right here. So if at any point during your sequence, your lead communicates to you that they do not want to receive any more communication from you, you can go ahead and click the unsubscribe button and they will not receive anything else from you. So that was all about the task section. I hope that this video has helped you to learn more. I know that the task section can save you lots of time. So if you have any more questions, you can just go up here to the little question mark. You can check out our help and support guide, or of course you can always chat with us. And of course, as always, if you want to see more videos like this one, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can see more about what's new with Lemlist. That's all guys, have a great day.